So I had this package FedEx from me from Penang, which is a little island of Malaysia where they do a lot of semiconductors and stuff like this. And the company, Citron, the product of Malaysia, shipped me <laughs> the Raspberry Pi 4 USB-C power supply and um, the Raspberry Pi 4 case. And i am just got a, a new video for you of how I set it up. It's just going to be a headless SSH thing sitting in the corner of my, my office space. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I got Raspbian running there now on a, on a SanDisk A1 and roll the video how I set it up. And if you have any good suggestions, please let me know below in the comments. Uh, Raspberry Pi 4 official case. Notice two HDMI, micro HDMI things, whatever, USB-C. It just seems to float in here. But what I'm struggling to do here is put the SD card in. See, the SD card fits in here if I don't have it in the case. If I try put it in like, like this, it seems to get... It doesn't seem to like that very much. Okay, what will I have to do? I'm a little bit surprised this um, this case because I heard of I heard this this runs quite hot, but as you can see, the case has like zero ventilation, right? I've got the official Raspberry Pi for USB C power supply because evidently it doesn't work with normal USB C because of some mess up. USB C all the things. I shall leave like that. So I will then quickly show you what what I'm doing here. Let's record. Oh, I kind of felt like a shock. Network cable to the ready. I got one of these weird network cables. It's got a bit of a right angle. Don't know why I did that. Experimenting. Actually, this might not work. Okay. Yeah, that's strange that the latch is on the bottom. Can you see that? Plug it into my Microtech AC. And let's plug it in. I put a credit SSH file. So now I've got to work out what IP it takes. Blinky lights do we have here? A lot of red. Is red good? Oh no, it's flashing something else now. Ah, let's. Let's log into my Microtech router. What is what would it be under IP DNS? I think it looks like a 30. Yeah, let's try. SSH Pi. Host identification has changed or whatever. This is a password I hate. But I don't think typing raspberry is quite hard. Is it just me? Am I dyslexic? Yes, I'm in. It's just is enabled and the full password for the Pi has not been changed. This is a security risk. Normally I would just copy in my SSH key. 
and then disable password logins. So let's just quickly do that. What is my SSH key? Make the SSH. Should be nothing here. Authorized keys. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. Then I go into SSH, SHD configure. It's actually a little bit slow. Um, Password notification. No. And then what should we do? In it D says D open uh, reset. Hopefully this worked. Next thing I like to do is set a static IP, but I'll probably do that later. Let's just uh, look at cat proc CPU info. Okay, I got the ARM kernel. Four processors. Does this look good, guys? There were options. Okay, I'll probably do that in there then. Update. Yeah, that's good. It's good. It's working. Just a, a good test finale would be to do an iperf3. Just to verify that I'm getting gigabit. So, I have 3 minus S, uh, no, minus C, one, two, uh, is it 30? Yeah. I 3 minus S. Let's see what you can do. Actually, that's not very fast. That's not very fast at all. Better, much better. For some reason, I was connecting over Wi Fi. So, yeah, gigabit, noise, Raspberry Pi 4. Awesome source. I'm pleased. You're going to get one? If not, why not? Comments below, guys. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Bye.